So this is the waiting room at our, our Piccadilly uh, studio in central London. I'm Daniel, I'm the managing director um, at A Suit That Fits. Uh, we are the UK's largest bespoke tailoring company. So I first encountered a suit that fits as a customer. Um, so I had a requirement for suits um, being incredibly tall. It was particularly challenging to find something off the peg that was compatible with my requirements. Um, so I came in, I, I did my design and had my suit created. The idea was founded from one of our, our co-founders was uh, volunteering in Nepal. Um, he had a number of suits made for himself locally and recognised that the quality of workmanship was, was incredible and by far superior to, to what you can, can acquire elsewhere. We set up a stall on Hampstead Market, um, literally just to, to understand what kind of demand there was for the service. We were overwhelmed um, from that, that visit and that's when a suit that fits was born. A customer will generally book an appointment to come visit us at one of over 30 studios nationwide. Um, during that appointment, we'll try and find out from them exactly what they're trying to achieve from their suit. In an appointment, the fun really starts, so we will work with them to kind of find materials that are compatible with their requirements. Uh, presently, we stock over 400 different materials. What we really wanted to do was give customers the opportunity to, to kind of feel empowered when designing their suit. So you'll see there's a few more kind of braver choices available as you browse through the, the swatch book. You're then going to go into the linings. Again, there's a wide range here. Once the customer selected their material and their lining, we will then go through the design process. The great thing about having your garment uniquely designed with you is you really can incorporate the elements of your personality. We'll identify kind of any anomalies in their body shape. We can often tell if somebody's had a broken arm, even just by looking at them um, with the training that we give, because their shoulder will be a bit lower. So in the tailoring process, what we do to compensate for that is put a bit of extra padding into the left shoulder to even you out and give the illusion of perfect silhouette. So there's 23 different measurements that we take, which really will enable us to craft their garment to the highest degree of accuracy in time for their first fitting. The spoke process by nature is one that, that requires a commitment of time from both our customer and from us as well. It's a process that we describe as collaborative. Each customer on their first garment will typically require three to four fittings in order to refine the fit to ensure that it's absolutely as we and they would like it to be when they take it away. I think as a business, as we were, were maturing, we weren't quite aware of, of how long that would take and we had to kind of adapt and refine our processes significantly to ensure that we could offer that transparent experience to our customers. Um, but I think expectation management is something that is absolutely critical when we are dealing with our customers and hopefully you know, we can, can deliver an experience that's reflective of expectations from the moment the customer comes in to see us for their very first appointment. My favourite thing uh, about what we do is being able to take a service that's historically been exclusively reserved for the elite and be able to introduce that to the mass market while being able to not compromise on the level of product or service and offering a price point that's more reflective of, of you know, what's accessible to everyday people. Take advice from people who have been there before, done it before, scaled a business and offered a, a service that's, that's comparable to, to what you're, you're trying to do. Also with recruitment, it's, it's imperative that you find the right people. As mentioned, the, the, the process of bespoke tailoring is very much collaborative. The idea is for the customer to build a relationship with their style advisor. You have to be selective about who you recruit. You have to find people with the appropriate skill set to be able to not just fit a garment for a customer, not just to design a customer, but to really kind of make that customer feel like they're consultative, they're giving you the necessary advice that you need. The bespoke process by nature is complex and the need to be consultative is something that is an absolute necessity if you're going to work with the customer to achieve their desired end result.